<laughs> this Ray movie. I'm sorry that I'm laughing right at the start, but it's it's years away. <laughs> it's already such a disaster because of all the leaks and rumors that have come out on this movie. And a lot of the stuff with the director is already all over the place. <laughs> Lucasfilm can't do anything right. They can't do anything right. So two days ago is when this story really took off, talking about how uh, the Ray movie is delayed indefinitely. It might not come out. Maybe it will come out. It's definitely coming out. It's just delayed. And there's some good reasons why it's delayed. They really want to try to get this, sh this script as, <laughs> as best as they can get it done. Like anyone's going to like it no matter what. It could be a masterpiece in some people's eyes. Uh, there's still a large contingent of fans who will not like this movie because of the sequel trilogy, how they treated Luke, making Rey the new grandmaster of the Jedi Order who's going to rebuild it. That's irritating, especially to me, because I wanted to see Luke Skywalker do that, not her. We should have already gotten that in the sequel trilogy. So, there's already been leaks about the scripts for this movie. Apparently, there's a script where they're going to have a Raylo baby. That's going to be a disaster. It's, it's such a mess. But, hey, Daisy Ridley, give it to her, man. She secured a bag. Apparently, oh, she's getting paid $12 million for this movie. $12 million, not bad. So, you know, get your money. Get your money. I, I don't... I don't have a problem with Daisy Ridley. I think she's fine. My problem is with Ray the character. You know, she's coming back to this shit show. I, I would hope that she would have demanded a lot of money. But here's the latest. So, some updates on what's going on. So, yesterday, when this, well, not this dropped January 15th, but the details in here on why it's delayed indefinitely which does not mean canceled. They just don't have a date for it yet. There's a couple of reasons after looking into this and reading this article. Uh, the io9 article came out after this one saying, no, the movie is not delayed indefinitely. It is coming. We're just working on the script, which actually lines up with this article. <laughs> they just put a statement out clarifying that it's not canceled, basically. But they're having, they're having script problems with this movie. Shocker. Now, the Park Place wrote, wrote, wrote up this article here, and I, I think that there's some things in here that make a lot of sense. Uh, the reason that it's delayed is because of that Mandalorian and Grogu movie. That movie, you know, the Mandalorian and Grogu movie that's going to depend on you having have had watched all of that Disney Plus trash. We've seen how that works out for these movies. Uh, with Marvel, uh, people don't show up to see them. So the reason, apparently, that they are doing that is because Ray can't carry a movie on her own. So they want to strap her with baby Grogu, little baby Yoda. And to do that, they are going to need to age him up and make him older. So they're going to have to wrap up the Mandalorian storyline, which that movie should do, and then Grogu and her will star in a movie together, which would probably be a smart idea because people like Grogu, and that might get people to show up to see the movie. Whether or not that's going to happen or not, I don't know. But here's the kicker. At least according to WDW Pro, who... I think is a good guy and doesn't try to put out shit. He says that they're actually considering putting this movie on Disney Plus because they are unsure if it'll do good at the box office and they do not want another disastrous 
box office flop. So they could go the safe route, make this a Disney Plus movie, and then they can get subscriptions and they don't have box office failure headlines. Because I can tell you right away, I would laugh at it for three or four weeks because it would be a disaster for Disney and another dent in the legacy of Star Wars. So I would laugh my ass off, and I'm sure I wouldn't be the only one. So I'm not saying they're going to do that. It sounds like he's saying that they're kicking the idea around, which honestly... You know, I do believe that. I do believe that they're probably considering it. Because look at what's going on with this movie. This movie has only been announced for what? When did they announce the Ray movie? It was at that Star Wars celebration, right? I can't remember the timeline, but I don't feel like it was that long ago that it was announced. And it's already a shit show. Leaks are going out all over the place. The director is making an ass of herself. It's a disaster, and it's a fine example of just how bad things are and have always been under Kathleen Kennedy's Lucasfilm. Things aren't going to get any better, and in in some ways, it seems like they're getting worse. So this, uh, this is something to watch. Now, do I think it will go to Disney Plus? I don't know. I think there's a 50% chance that it could. I think that they are kicking that idea around and are considering it. But, you know, I think I think they are going to try to put it in theaters, especially if they can get Grogu in there. I think that makes a lot of sense because Grogu sells a lot of merchandise. He's one of the only modern Disney characters that actually sells in stores. The other problem, though, he's not going to be a baby anymore. Half the appeal of him, at least when he, in my opinion, was popular, is was he was a baby. They were little baby dolls. People thought they were cute. Kids liked them. You know, is that appeal still going to be there when he can talk a little bit normal? Is he going to talk backwards like Yoda? I think it's, it's interesting to see if they're going to try to rip off their own legacy character with this one. So we shall see. But, man, what a mess this movie is. What a mess. And it hasn't even come out years away. Years away. And it's such a mess already. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments below. Also, if you would please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Check out my Rumble and Locals. And I will see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my Locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If... You don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.